Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to revisit mix setting on the Kempi Master TIG 235. Mix TIG, where AC TIG and DC TIG processors alternate, used especially for optimizing welding of aluminum materials of dissimilar thicknesses. But I wanna test it on a two mil thick aluminum cube. So two mil aluminium, we're doing an outside corner joint. So we're gonna come over here to current mode, change that to mix, got an optimal waveform, 60 Hertz, AC balance is negative 25. Now the recommended ratio is 50-50 AC to DC. The mix cycle time is 0.6 seconds. I'm gonna speed that up to 0.1 second. And the DC level is 100%. I'm gonna leave that at 100% for now. Everything else is on auto. It's gonna be a 2% lanthanated tungsten at a 60 degree point. I'm using a number five cup on a standard collet body. I'm using a full length tungsten today. Normally I cut them in half. slowing the pulse down for the next side. We've increased the AC frequency to 100 Hertz. Uh, change the mix cycle time to one second. Another pretty average world. Uh, that one actually felt a bit nicer with the one second pulse time. This mix TIG feature keeps making the battery in my camera shut down. I'm gonna move you guys further away. Square wave looks a bit better. Square wave was definitely easier to control. Very flat compared to previously where it was a bit bumpy up and down. It was hard to manage the heat. Uh, square wave, good. 100 hertz, good. I'm going to change the AC ratio to 60% AC. Not a bad weld at all. Just had a little bit too much heat where it got around this hole that's quite close, um, as to be expected. 40-60 on the AC-DC ratio. Favoring the DC side, just wanna see what happens. Very difficult to control the heat on this one. Going back to the recommended 50-50 AC-DC. We're gonna to go to 0.6, the recommended mixed TIG cycle time, and I'm changing it to sine wave. bad again where it's thin the holes are close together it's very easy for the heat to get away from you 
It's just started pouring with rain. I apologize for the background noise, but we're just gonna have to deal with it for the rest of this video. So let's go back to square wave. Let's drop it down to 80 hertz. Back to 50-50, and I'm gonna go to 0.8 seconds. And one thing I haven't played with yet is the DC TIG level. Let's go 50% on the DC TIG level. That world was a lot more familiar. Turning that DC down really helped with the cleaning action. Actually became quite difficult to get any heat into it. Uh, so I was double pulsing, pulsing on the move and then staying in one spot and then dipping on the next pulse. That's a good world, but we're getting close to AC territory. DC level up to 75%. I'm gonna have 0.9, I kinda of like those slower pulses. And we're gonna take it down to 60 hertz. I know we're making a lot of changes at once, but I'm really just trying to figure out if there's any benefit in welding similar metals with the mixtig function. Doesn't look the best out of all the welds. The previous setting looked better, um, but Definitely a, a, a good world. Uh, a little bit too hot in the middle there, but I had a hard time trying to figure out my travel speed. So we'll take our DC level down to 65%. Gonna up that cycle time to 0 0.6. Happy with the 50-50 ratio. Uh, all in all, I think we're just dialing in the cycle time and the DC level at the moment. I don't know how you can still hear me with this rain, uh, if you can still hear me with this rain. That was a step in the wrong direction. So slower on the cycle time uh, to make the pulses slower works better for me. Somewhere between that 75 and 50 range seems to feel really good for welding. Uh, we've got two more welds to go on this cube. I'm gonna do one on my favorite AC pulse setting and one just on straight AC current, just to maybe get a bit of contrast for this entire video. Let's go with my pulse setting, which is save profile three for me. In fact, everything's on auto from our last video. If you check out my world assist video. The difference is like night and day. Um, finally, I'm just going to switch pulse off. No pulse, just straight current. I 100% think that I am an AC pulse convert now after welding my whole life on straight current. I just can't beat that finish. That's a 3D printed broomstick handle holder. This is the AC pulse welded side. There are some really good looking welds in there. was tumbled in a ceramic media, washed with some simple green, and then wiped down twice with acetone. So to answer the first question, should you weld thin aluminium with the mixed TIG setting? My short answer is no. Why would you when you can get much better results with an AC function? Heat management was quite difficult. All in all, I'd say don't waste your time trying to figure out mixed TIG setting for thin aluminium. For me, it works pretty great welding fittings onto the front of my cans, which is what the feature is designed for, thick to thin. I've also had great success welding 10 mil thick aluminium with the mixed TIG feature. That was the experiment. See if it's possible, see if it's better, but really it's just me doing it so you don't have to. 
This video was not intended to be a plug, but these test cubes I use all the time. I use them when I set up for the day, when I'm trying new settings. If I want to practice a prop or I feel like there's something wrong, I just grab one of these test cubes. I have them in laser cut, router cut, tumbled and not tumbled. I've always had parts in those four forms for me to practice on or for me to test on um, because that's primarily what I use in two millimeter aluminium. I now have these available on my website if you want your own practice cube. It comes with seven pieces with the number one dot if you don't want the awesome AT Performance logo. Since you've made it to the end of the video, you're obviously interested in welding and um, you're lying if you're saying you don't need some more practice. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. I truly appreciate it. I'm gonna see you in the next one. Oh, and also, I'm working on uh, making some sort of table rotating situation. Because I know one of you were wondering.